What's up, YouTube? What's up? Triple M family. It's your girl, Nacho. Back on the check in. Yo, I'm about to go and fucking Aspen Dental and lose my fucking top. Do you guys see my face? Do y'all see my face? Like, I'm transforming. I'm literally transforming. My face is growing a fucking face. Like, I told this retarded dentist. I told this, this dumb, this dumb ass motherfucker. Excuse my language, y'all. But I get so mad when I know stuff. And people try to play my intelligence like I don't know what I'm talking about. And just send me out there on limbs. I don't like that shit. All right, let me tell you. After he extracted the tooth, right? I said, okay, you did not give me no antibiotics prior to you doing this. So aren't you going to prescribe me some antibiotics? Man, and I got this whole open ass wound in my mouth. It's in my mouth. You get it? You eat and drink with your mouth, correct? So that means you're putting germs, food, and all kinds of stuff in your mouth, right? He says, you don't need any, any, any antibiotics. You're going to be fine. So you leave an open wounds in people's mouths, telling them to go ahead and eat and drink soft foods, whatever. Mix up a whole combo of fucking trash and, and infection in your mouth. Don't risk with no Listerine, but you're going to be fine. What the fuck is going on my face if I'm going to be fine? Am I like, what does he think? I'm made out of alien or something? I'm about to go in this fucking Aspen Dental. What you, God help me, God help me, God help me. You know what? I'm gonna be kind. I'm about to go up in this Aspen Dental with this swollen ass face and curse all you motherfuckers out for real because there's no way in hell you're supposed to be doing work like that. You don't do business like that. All that money that y'all took for me, I should have been getting everything that I requested, especially when I know what I'm talking about. Like I definitely know what I'm talking about. I did not do a medical associate's degree for no reason. I did not do it for no reason. I may not be actually working in that field at the moment, but I didn't do it for no reason. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me get out of here. Get to these dentists so I can show y'all how we about to handle this one. It's been in your minds. Yeah. I'm freaking screwed up and it's so cold out here. That shit hurt. It's like, it's not hurting, but it's like my face. Like my face is already in pain. So, you know, with that cold hitting it, I should have discarded this on my freaking chair. I should have wrapped that shit around my whole face. It just looked like a goddamn mummy walking down the street. Like, ooh, bitch. <laughs> nah, even though I've been paid and I'm suffering, I still be trying to have fun. This is what I be trying to tell y'all. Like, I got this, this happy shit in me that just is installed in my ass. Better than it. Yeah, but let's pray to God that I don't go in here acting so ratchet and ghetto and they just comply with. place and I swear if my stupid ass kid's father don't stop texting and emailing me with his stupid shit and I don't know what's wrong with people like what is wrong with people like do you just like not have nothing better else to do with your life and your time that you just want to harass me like or am I just like the oh, the nicest person that you know that just ain't curse your stupid fucking ass out yet like like what what is it Cause I don't want to go to jail, you know? Like, this nigga better leave me alone. I'm about to try to fix my face. I'm starting to look like a Powerpuff girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, spin out, you guys. I'm going in now. Spin in, you guys. So, we're back in the dentist office. I'm in another room today. Of course, I'm in another room every day. I've been coming here every day. I'm about to tell him to put me on a payroll. Just let me sit at the receptionist desk. So I can be here every time I have a problem, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got some real estate TV show on HGTV. I think I've seen it once, but I don't really watch TV too much. I'm like, yeah, I like, like comedy movies and stand up comedy and. Horror movies is okay sometimes. It all depends on, you know, the setup. And yeah, 
just waiting for them to come in. I need to take these braids down. I didn't even get to do my edges, but my face feels out of this world swollen. And see, to you guys, it may not look that bad. But you see, to me, I know how my face is and I know what I feel. I feel like this lump occurring in my jawline right there. And the last time I had this feeling, it got so big. Yeah. So before it gets even bigger, I need it to be stopped immediately because I don't want to be walking around looking like Beetlejuice. I already look like Powerpuff Girl. I swear, I forgot what that's to say. Let me hear one more stupid thing. And I'm going to lose my whole top. Like, nobody better not say nothing else stupid to me. I swear. Whew. This shit really freaking hurts. Like, oh. It's not like growing, though. It's just a little puffy right here. I'm sure if I eat something else. Or drink something else for that matter. So that it's gonna get even bigger. Because I noticed that's why I started swelling after I ate. All right, suspending so you guys. I'm so sorry. I didn't get to. I, I should have recorded the whole conversation between me and the doc, so y'all can see the kind of shit that I'm, I'm up against. Yeah, he, he, he did give me my, he sent my prescription to my pharmacy, like I told his ass, like, yeah. As soon as he looked at my face, he said, yeah, you are getting an infection. Like, duh, I know what the hell I be talking about. Like, that's one thing I know. I might not sound like, you know, I know every word in the goddamn dictionary, granted, but I know what the hell I be talking about. I know what, the, what, what a feeling is, and I know what every feeling is that's running through my body. Like, you know, like... I know what an infection feel like. I know what a fucking everything dirt. I know what everything feels like. You know, I am a grown ass woman with two kids. Like I know what practically everything feels like. So you're not gonna tell me that an infection is not forming and building in my body when I feel that shit. You know, I feel it. So yeah, I'm about to go. Is this the LA opening? Here? I'm definitely going in here because I want this dirt off my car. I know y'all. Y'all think I'm crazy. It's about to get snow. But it's so much dirt on my car, and I am an Uber driver, so this is a like a requirement. My car has to stay clean. I don't care what y'all say. Yep. Shorty is going to take another bath right before it starts snowing, because I want all this nasty shit off my car. My car is white, and it's looking like it's turning orange, black, brown. I ain't the only one in here. Let me show y'all. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Can you give me the $9? Welcome to our car Yeah. Please select an Did you guys get more of the bubblegum tree things? Um, They might be inside. Mm, when you uh, pull through thing. to dry your car, you can check inside in the front lobby. Okay. What's it called? Uh, I have to go get your change from inside. You can pull up gotcha. and there'll be a gentleman up there. Okay? Thank you. Oh, this little young kid is cute. Little young boy is cute. Let me stop because you know a lot of people be thinking all kinds of crazy weird shit. And he, he's even though he's grown, he's young compared to me. So I just said he was cute. Oops, sorry. It's funny, you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah see, I see my shit is OD freaking swollen. Right, Ace? I went there. Literally. It's 1240 right now. I went there. Remember what time I came in here? I came in here about 12 o'clock, yeah. So, y'all seen what time it was. I don't know if y'all know what time it was. When I got to Aspen Dinner, it was about 9 something this morning. Left out of there. He said, all right, I'm sending you a prescription right now. So, give them about 15 minutes to fill it out. To fill it. I didn't go straight to the right Friday pharmacy once I left the doctor's, was the dentist's office. I went and I ran a couple of other errands before I even went to the pharmacy. Literally stopped at one place, did that. Stopped at the car wash, washed the car. Did that. Um, what else did I stop at? Oh, anyways, yeah. So I'm coming up. And instead of me going through the drive through I said, let me go inside of right A because I need some baby lips, chapstick, you know. So I went inside, went to the chapstick first, got on the front line, paid for that. Now, mind you, the time is ticking. That's why I'm, I'm giving y'all a rundown. The time is ticking, right? So I walked to the back, stood on that line, 
look at the vitamins, found me some more macaroon, and then I get up to the front of the line. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just here to pick up my prescription. She says, last name, gave it to her. First name, gave it to her. Date of birth, gave it to her. Now she's going to tell me, oh, we just got your prescription, so I'm going to need a half an hour to, to, to fill it. Mind you, when I left the dentist, I called Rite Aid. In the parking lot of the dentist. Before I went and ran my errands, I called them to make sure that they got it. So that I wasn't leaving the dentist and have to go back and say, oh, y'all didn't send my prescription correctly. Yeah, so I called them to make sure that they got it. She said, yeah, just give her 15 minutes to fill it. I said, okay. So while I get to the store, an hour and a half later, you telling me right in front of my face, you just got a prescription that you been got over an hour ago to give you 30 minutes to fill it. I said, okay, miss, one thing, we're we going we gonna to stop this lying here. You did not just get the prescription. You've been got the prescription because I called over an hour ago. And somebody told me that they got it. They're going to fill it for me in 15 minutes. So you've been got the prescription and you just didn't get to it. So say you're busy or you're doing some other stuff because they're not going to tell me that you got that you just got something that you've been had. Like, what, what, don't, what I look like? I just be over people, you guys, especially when you suffering and pain and you swelling up and stuff. It's like you, the last thing you want to hear is more stories and lies. Like, stop with the motherfucking fantasies y'all telling. Stop it. Like, nobody, nobody want to hear your fantasies. Like, tell me the reals. Like, what's really going on here? What's really wrong with y'all? Hmm. I'm sorry. I, um, um. Yeah, I was in the process of about to change my sheets to make my bed or whatever, and I got a package. And I also wanted to come back and say I spoke to. Oh, it took me. Sorry, before I get back, before I get into voice, it took me literally fifteen minutes just now to take all the papers and stuff out of this little wallet. Like because of my nails, I got like, totally had to get these things cut because that was ridiculous. It, I was going to record it, but I'm like, I'm glad I didn't. Cause y'all would have been like, nah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I kind of like ordered some bras and panties from Victoria's Secret, and I'm trying to figure out where's the rest of the material to this shit. Like, I thought I ordered 36C. What is this? A motherfucking medium issues. All right. Oh, I got my white robe. I had to throw away my old white robe because I had it for like five years, you guys. I mean, I'm not kidding you not. It was so old and looking like, girl, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I needed another black bra because I have two, but one of them needs to go. This one is cute, though. I got the little like, tiny hearts in it. And a bunch of freaking pennies. Yeah. We're not going to get into all of that. You know, that's a little bit too much information for you guys. But I'm going to show you the matching pennies that go to that purple set. Because I thought that these were the cutest. These are the only ones I'm showing you guys. I'm not going to go into my whole panty, you know, collection. But they are totally cute if you like it. Go to the Victoria's Secret. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to flip side because I still didn't get out of this house and go get my antibiotics. They wasn't ready and it's still not ready. These retards up here in Pennsylvania, excuse me. But I, I, I'm I, I'm convinced that I'm in a state of retardation. Like I, Everybody is fucking slow. Everybody. I'm sorry. But this is just what I've, I, I've had to come to the realization of so that I can stop trying to figure it out. Yeah. I'm sorry.